I want to take the opportunity, since we're talking about this team, to talk a little bit um, about our our former DHS, Dr. Manzanero. His name comes up every time we are um, on a, a press conference or a talk show. They ask about him. And I want to say that I'm pleased to say that Dr. Mer Manzanero has now been released and he is at home recovering. And um, we certainly wish him a speedy recovery. Um, and I want to clarify that there are no issues between him and I. Um, it is unfortunate that this issue has become sensationalized. No? Um, I believe that he is a highly qualified doctor. I believe that he did the best that he could possibly do while he was the DHS. Um, but we are in a war, so to speak, in this country, Marlene and Isani. Mm -hmm. COVID is no joke. And in times of war, we need a wartime general, right? We need someone who has actually been on the ground, seeing this firsthand, um, knowing, knowing on a firsthand level um, what, what this uh, pandemic is about, knowing how to address, knowing how to react to these circumstances. And so um, that is why we had a shift um, in war. You need a wartime general. And we found in Dr. Diaz, that person, she has been on the ground. She has been on the front line battling this this virus yeah. and so our we placed our trust in her to lead this team we are not gonna gonna throw the 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 experience and the knowledge um that he has we're not going to show that that we actually we look forward to his full recovery and for his reincorporation into the ministry of health and wellness and we do expect that he's going to be part of this team um helping to advise and to lead the country um around uh, along the correct path 